welcome back to another video. Today we're using the GoPro, not the good camera, so if the audio quality isn't too great, I'm sorry. But we are headed outside of Quito to a local market to find some handicrafts and possibly some animals for trade. Yeah, that's crazy, right? So we took an Uber from the center of Quito all the way to Carcelane Terminal. And now we have to take a bus from Carcelan Terminal all the way to a village area called Otavalo. Otavalo. And once we get there, then we'll walk into the town and enjoy some markets. So we will see you when we get there. something like that. So that bus ride from Quito was about two hours and now that we are here we are in search for some food, some coffee before we head into the market. Plaza de los Santos, one of the most famous markets in all of Ecuador. It is outside of the Quito region. We got some food, We've got Americano here, a bacon, egg, and cheese. She's got the same thing for the cappuccino. We're gonna fuel up before we hit this market. Sandwich came with potato chips. They're so good. They're like kettle cooked. Nice and salty. We both ate them all already. Time to try out the sandwich. A bagel sandwich in Ecuador. I didn't think it would happen. Mm. That's real cheddar. This is heaven. so hot, but I'm going to try it. Oh, that's so good. So strong. Just like the rock. Just look at this. It's a big giant egg. I think it was maybe one and a half eggs or so. We got some tokino, some bacon, with some queso. That's that cheddar cheese. And the bagels just cooked right. Not too light, not too over burnt. Mm. Taste of America in Ecuador. So, <clears throat> for this breakfast we have right here, this brunch, we have Americano, cappuccino, and two bagel sandwiches. Total comes to $10.50 Ecuadorian, which is $10.50 US. It's a good deal. Mm. $5.25 for breakfast? You can't beat it. <clears throat> so, the Otavalo region that we are in right now. It took about two hours to get here, like I said earlier. It's a up and down, just roller coaster ride on the bus because of the mountains being everywhere. The elevation here is 
8,307 feet, so it's pretty high up in elevation. And this area is actually very significant for many reasons, and I will talk to you and tell you about these reasons once we are walking. So let's go. That place is La Cosecha Coffee and Bakery. It is phenomenal. Make sure you try it if you come here. On to the market. All right, we just entered the thick of the market here, Plaza de los Panchos. And this market is many blocks wide. I think it's maybe like four by four or something like that. But there's a lot of different local vendors selling many different handcrafts and just articles of fabric and clothing that they have made. And that's part of their uh, tradition. So the people here in these markets, the locals, they are of an indigenous population from the Imbabura region, which is a province of Ecuador, northeast of Quito. The local women, they wear these long white um, traditional clothing and they have like these gold necklaces on their neck and basically the more beads that you have on your your neck, the more wisdom you, you have. It's gonna be hard to say no to everybody. Como se dice ese en español? Llama. 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 Oh, it's, it's the same in English. Gracias. Muchas gracias. I got a little llama keychain or llama for only a dollar. And I got it for my aunt because she's obsessed with llamas and alpacas. We probably could do a $10 video here. There's so much stuff. It's going to be hard not to want to buy too much. So we're just walking around and we're trying to get an understanding of the boundaries of this market. It appears to be one big giant square where everything is together. And then you have these side streets coming off where the vendors continue to go down from there. I honestly have no idea how big this place is. It just appears that the street just keeps going and going and going. And there's people everywhere. There's no coronavirus here and no such thing. I don't know what these decorations are, but it appears to be the markets where those are. So that street we just walked down was pretty long and it actually ended at a park here called Parque Simon Bolivar. And the street's name is Antonio Jose de Sucre. I guess that's the name of the long street that runs all the way down right past the big square of the market and then into this park where everyone hangs out. Hola. Mm -hmm. Uh, that one's pretty nice. Hey, cuánto cuesta? For how many? Cuánto? Un dollarcito. Oh, for one. Sí, one dollar. Hmm. Ahí puedes ver. For dos. Allá. One dollar. Sí. Sí. Maybe this one. This is different. No son iguales. Es uh, negro o azul? Este es negro. Negro. Okay. Y 
Este eh, y des. Okay. Un dolarito ya. Well, I just picked up two bracelets. They were 50 cents each, which is more than what they should cost, but it's okay. I could pay a dollar. Goes a long way for them. We just strolled around the handicraft market for about an hour and a half. Now we're going to head over to the animal market. Hopefully it's open. Google Maps says permanently closed. You never know though, they could be open. So we're gonna see and hopefully we'll see some cool animals. Well, unfortunately, animal market is not happening. My guess is because of COVID and stuff, they're just not letting it happen, you know, for chances of any sort of viruses getting out there. But this is where it's supposed to be, in this open field. And then there's this yellow building there where it goes up to pretty much. So you can see here on Google Maps, this whole area, in fact, where we are standing, is supposed to be animals, all sorts of animals. But there are no animals. Really sucks. I was planning on buying a cow and bringing it on the bus. All right, we'll head back into the Otovalo area. Maybe get something to eat and I don't know. We'll just see what happens from here. Oh, check out that view though. Wow, it's stunning. Multiple volcanoes, I think. Maybe they're volcanoes, maybe not, I don't know. Just look like mounds of dirt that was dumped from the gods above. So we just stumbled upon this mall it's like an outdoor mall right down by the animal market where it's supposed to be and they have like food stalls produce vegetables handicrafts and all that same stuff but inside of a cover kind of so we're gonna check it out and see what we can find here Con carne, por favor. Ah, gracias. So we just stopped here at Maldonado. All right, I'm not sure what this is, but. It is, it's like a type of mashed potato. Wow, that's very good. Mm. Very hot, but super good. This is very filling. With some vegetables. Mm. Let's try the carne here. Whatever type of meat this is, I'm not sure. So chewy. <coughs> How is it? I like it. What? I like it. Look at the colors in this right here. Beef, lettuce, tomato, potato. Big chunk of meat. Mm. The price of this is one dollar and fifty cents. So three dollars total. What a bargain. We got ourselves a beggar. licking my elbow and stuff. Whoa. That part's really fatty. Is there? All 
said that meal was pretty good. I also got a Coca-Cola with it. But we're gonna head downstairs and see what's down there. And there's a dance class going on. Dance, dance. Some people are closing down, getting ready to call it an evening. But there's tons of fruits and vegetables you can buy. Looks like this is the place to be if you are a local or an expat living here. Get yourself a whole chicken, some liver. Wow. Oh, this is the meat section. Some chicken feet. There's like quail eggs, whole eggs, big eggs, pig's feet. Wow, look at all this meat. Oof. This is, this is foul smelling. This is not for the faint of the heart, that's for sure. Those look good, right there. No, it was like uh, that, see it's ham. Ham steak. Look at those pig heads, holy crap. Oh, those pig feet. Wow. What was that? Wow. This is the place to come to get your meats, I guess. How oh, do you get out of here? This way. It's like a maze in here. Right, now we are taking one last stroll through the market here on the way back to the bus terminal to head back towards Quito. So, let's see if we see anything interesting. just about a block away from the bus station gonna go in there buy some tickets and head back to Quito I think that'll do it for the video here in Otavalo I still having trouble pronouncing that but like always thanks for watching and we will see you in another video wow it's nice and clear now Beautiful. Now, typically, what you'll see is a dog carrying, a dog carrying <laughs> takeaway food from a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> and these are all indigenous. Indigenous people. I think I just ate a bone though. Mm -hmm.